everybody! This week's story is called The Magic Wishing Well. So we'll be making our own wishing well coin banks. For this craft, you will need an empty nut tin with a plastic lid, a plate significantly larger than your tin, but not too large, three popsicle sticks, two toothpicks, school glue, a variety of markers, scissors, a push pin, a ruler, two sheets of construction paper, optional glitter glue, and for the grown up helping you out, an X Acto knife and some hot glue. The X Acto knife is optional, but it does make things a little bit easier than using scissors. First step is to pick out your paper. I think I'll make this wishing well free. And measure how tall your wishing well is. Now I just measure between the metal strips because that's where I put my construction paper. You can make it so it covers those. It just doesn't lay quite as flat and look as smooth. So my tin is about two and a half inches high. So now I will measure two and a half inches on my construction paper at both ends. We'll make a line connecting them and cut out that strip. Now then depending on whether you want your well to look more like it's made of bricks or if you want to make it look like it's made of stones or if you just want to decorate it however you want, that's totally cool. But I'm going to demonstrate how to make it look like bricks first, and then I'll show you how to make it look like stones. Now as I don't want this wishing well to be made of bricks, I'm only going to demonstrate with just a small portion of my paper. So for bricks, you simply take your ruler and draw lines all the way across the strip. So from here, you simply draw out some lines on one row, and then on the next row, you put your little lines in between those. And again, the same thing on the next row. But for this one, I'm going to make mine look like it's made of stones. And my stones aren't going to be perfectly square like my bricks were. So I'm just going to draw different shapes of stones all across my page. Now if you want to use your glitter glue to write something on your wishing well, now is the time. On my original, I wrote, make a wish. If you don't have glitter glue or you don't want to use glitter glue, you can also use a marker. On this one, I'm going to write my name. Now, glitter glue is a little difficult to write with, so if it helps, you can always pre-write in marker or pencil what you want your wishing well to say before you go over it with glitter glue. Now while that's drying, I'm going to show you what your parents need to do. First, make sure your glue gun is heating up. We're going to need it soon. Now, take two of your popsicle sticks and your push pen. What we're going to do is prick a small hole in the tops of each of our popsicle sticks using our push pen. Now do be careful because if you push the push pen all the way through in one go, it will likely split your popsicle stick. But if you have a little split in one side of your popsicle stick, you always have the other side you can try again. How I advise you do this is push your push pen slowly through the end and once you can just barely see it coming through, go to the other side and push it back through. And when you can see it through the other side, go ahead and pull it out. Fast enough of a hole. Now do the same thing for the other side. Now, take your toothpicks and stick one in the hole on each side. The next step is to take your third popsicle stick and your hot glue and just put a 
short line on each end. You don't need to use a lot of glue for this, just enough for your toothpick to lay on. Now use your hot glue to secure your toothpicks to your popsicle stick. Now, add a little bit of glue to the bottoms of your popsicle sticks. And secure your frame to the side of your well. Now back to the kids. Pick out a color for the roof of your well. I'm going to use blue. Take your plate and lay it upside down on your paper. And trace around it with your marker. Now go ahead and draw out a wedge. So you have a kind of a Pac-Man drawing here. Now you can decorate your roof however you like. For this one, I just took a marker and went like this. To kind of give it a hatched look. But for this one, I think I'm just going to have fun and draw some pictures. You don't need to draw in the wedge as that piece is going to be cut out anyway. And once you're all done decorating your roof, go ahead and cut it out. Don't forget to cut out the wedge as well. Once your little Pac-Man is cut out, fold the paper so the edges of the wedge meet. Decide which side you want to be the top and which side you want to be the bottom. And on the bottom, put a little bit of glue. Now fold it, hold it down until the glue has a chance to dry. And we're going to set this aside until we're ready to attach it to our well. Grown-ups, you can see on my original lid how I cut out a sliver here for your coins to go through and notches on the sides for the popsicle sticks to sit in so that you'll be able to open and close your bank when you're ready to make a withdrawal. So first, take your X-Acto knife and draw a line across the center of your lid. And then come back and make a rectangle out of that. On opposite sides, take your X-Acto knife and cut about a half inch tab off. Like so. Now once your glitter glue is dried, it will be time for you to wrap your well. Now as you can see, my wells are a little too wide for my paper. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut a small strip from my original piece of paper. Two inches high just as before, and about two inches wide as well. Now take your marker and decorate it in the same fashion as you had decorated your other strip. Once you've done that, apply some school glue to your well and attach the paper and you'll just do the same thing for the rest of your exterior. And there you go! Now you can put the lid back on. Now, situate your roof on top and decide where you want the front to be. Once you have it where you want it, simply mark with your marker where it meets the popsicle sticks. Now, your adult will take the hot glue gun and put a dab of hot glue on each side where you marked it and situate it accordingly. And hold it in place just a little while while the glue cools. And there you go, your own wishing well coin bank, all ready to use. Alrighty everybody, don't forget to tune in Wednesday for the Magic Wishing Well story. See you then!